Hello everyone, my name is Nana Amankwa and I've lived in Ottawa for almost 29 years. I'm married to Ya Amankwa and we have two young adults, uh, sons, Jason and Nathan. I've been coming to Bethel for almost 29 years. Uh, I came to Bethel because uh, I, wanted a ch I wanted to attend a church where I could grow spiritually. So at Bethel, I'm involved in a few uh, ministries, but the most important one to me is a children's ministry. I, I teach two and a half to three and a half year olds, and I love doing that. So that's something that I, I think I'm going to do till I can't walk or I'm about to die. So I love that. The other stuff that I um, take part in is the ushering ministry in, in Bethel. Uh, and then also I lead, a, I co-lead a small Bible study group. We've had our group for over 20 years. Uh, we've gotten to know each other and we're like um, family in there. And then the other thing that I'm involved in in Bethel is uh, I've served on the board for, in the past I was a board secretary. I started following Jesus. I had the salvation story quite early, I think maybe around the age of eight uh, or 10. But, you know, I, I didn't really, maybe I really didn't understand it. So, um, although I had accepted Jesus Christ as my personal savior, both uh, when I was attending church uh, with my mom and my siblings, uh, the Presbyterian Church in Ghana, uh, I also accepted Christ when I went to uh, high school. I, I didn't fully understand it. I wasn't committed. I would uh, pray. I would um, even fast sometimes, but there was no spiritual back into it. Even when I, I get into the latter stages of uh, high school, I even stopped going to church. I would drop, drive my mom and my siblings. I would drop them and then come uh, when church is over, I'll go pick them. And then my mom told me one, one day, she said, look, I've been praying for you, you need to come back to church. And one day you'll be the first person um, getting people, getting all of us ready and making sure uh, we get to church on time. And it happened. When I got into university, uh, I still wasn't, uh, my relationship was lukewarm, but everything changed when I met my wife. Um, she was a born-again Christian. She was more committed, read her Bible. She gave me a Bible and she said, look, you have to come to church with me. You have to be more serious. You have to read your Bible. Well, I loved her. I liked her so much. So what did I do? I obliged and then I kept getting closer and closer to God. And I got a scholarship to come study in Canada. And at that time, I think I was 23, 24 coming to Canada. I didn't know anybody and I was scared. And so I said, oh Lord, I need to recommit myself and have an anchor, a strong anchor, because where I'm coming, I don't know anybody. I'm the eldest of, uh, at that time, my, my little brother had arrived, so there's five of us, and I'm sort of the pace setter for everything. So one, I'm coming to a country where I don't know anybody to do graduate studies. And second, okay, if I come and I don't achieve what I'm supposed to do, that means that the others, uh, my other siblings, uh, uh, what are they going to say? I was afraid to, 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 fear, uh, to fail. And so all I did was, God, I even got more serious. And I said, look, uh, I need to, you know, uh, be more committed and uh, grow closer and closer to God. My story is really about God's patience and his faithfulness to me and giving me second chances. We need to be uh, more patient with our loved ones who do not, uh, are not walking with the Lord, but the main thing is just continue praying for them, as my mom did, and as my wife also, you know, put in a word, and, and all this, I think, led to me uh, becoming more committed. You know, um, God has completely changed my life. Um, I used to be really anxious about stuff. I thought I controlled everything about my life, so I will plan and make sure everything falls into place. But since I really recommitted my life to Christ and became more serious, my wife will tell you, she would say sometimes I, I, I don't um, care, but it's not that I don't care. It's just that 
I can't do anything about it. I try as much as possible to leave everything in God's hands. So two things i like my church family to know is that um, if we earnestly want to find God, we will find Him. As it says in uh, uh, Deuteronomy, it says if you earnestly seek God, you will find Him. If we really want to uh, know who God is in our life and everything, we'll find Him. And then the other thing is a Christian walk will be full of ups and downs. There will be trials, temptations, there will be challenges, major ones, and, and then it comes also with blessings. But we have to remember um, uh, this verse, is, is it Psalm 27 verse 14, it says we should trust in the Lord. Let's trust in the Lord. I'm Nana Amankwa, and that's my story.